Okay, now we'll see the next topic in our arithmetic that is subtractions. Now let me tell you, subtractions are not that easy as additions. Additions, we can count the fingers and then guess the answer. But subtractions are not that easy. They are very difficult and uh, let me tell you one hardcore fact. According to the conventional methods, there are absolutely no techniques for subtractions. Though there are, they are, they are very difficult techniques. But using Vedic mathematics, we can subtract the numbers faster than calculators. Now, let me tell you like why there are no techniques according to our school methods. If you all can remember, maybe in your first class, the first thought of subtractions. Now, there was a number something like this. Uh, how much is something like 14 minus 6? There was a problem given like this. When you were a small child, like in first class or in the first standard, what you say, right? So, they gave a basic technique how to subtract this number. So, they first thought this basic technique of drawing the lines. draw 14 lines and cut off the 6 lines and count the balance lines to get the answer as 8. So, when you as a child, this was okay, no problem at all. Okay, but as we went high in the uh, higher classes, we, uh, we were not taught any techniques for doing subtractions. So, what we did, we resorted to counting the fingers. If you are in higher class and you still draw lines, so people start laughing at you. So, fearing that, you started counting the fingers. And some children, when the numbers become more big, they count for counting the, uh, they start counting finger segments, you know, there are 14 or 15 segments in the fingers, they start, count, they start counting this, the more they use both the fingers, you know, both the hand fingers, and if more than that, they even count the fingers and toes, and if it's uh, more than that, they borrow the fingers from the friends. That's the only technique thought us. But uh, using Vedic mathematics, I'll show you a small problem. Okay, first I would uh, like to write that problem. First, I will look at the problem. You first see the problem, later decide how much time will it take to subtract that small problem. Now, this is that small problem what I was talking about. Tell me honestly, how much time will you take to subtract this small problem? Maybe you are wondering, is, is it a small problem? It is so big. Right. Now, usually uh, an ordinary person will say probably 10 minutes to solve this problem. And if you are fast in mathematics, you may say probably 5 minutes. If you are more fast, you may probably say 3 minutes. Or two minutes on the higher end, you may say one minute time. You may probably take, you know, at the lower end, you may take one minute and then you can accomplish subtracting this. But how about if I say, uh, if you take, uh, can you do it in 50 seconds? Maybe you may say, I may try. If I say 40 seconds, you may say probably with the great difficulty. If I say 30 seconds, you may say, my God, it's impossible. Such a big problem in 30 seconds. And if I say 25 seconds, you may say it's highly impossible. And if I said 20 seconds, you may say, now this is getting tougher each time you say something, okay? But can you believe, if I tell you that I can subtract all this, you know, this given problem, such a big problem, in just less than 20 seconds, believe it or not. Maybe I may say, how is it possible in 20 seconds, such a big subtraction, how is it possible? Now, if you have a watches, you can check your watches, okay? I will take approximately just less than 20 seconds, okay? Now, check your watches and my time starts now. And that's the answer. You can you can check your watches. Probably I've taken less than 20 seconds. And maybe you're amazed like, uh, how was it possible? Such a big subtraction in just less than 20 seconds. Or maybe some people are amazed saying that, how on planet Earth it is possible? to subtract such a big number in just less than 20 seconds. Well, uh, probably some people are thinking that maybe I wrote the question and I wrote the answer, I know the number before only. And there's also a reason why they're thinking like that. Because mostly you see people doing subtraction from right to left, but I do it from left to right. Maybe that created the big doubt in your mind that I know this number committed to memory. But let me tell you honestly, I had written this number right before you here. I didn't commit it to memory. I applied a technique in Vedic Mathematics. It's called the Tirga Vyavakaranam. Using that technique, I was able to subtract such a big number in just less than 20 seconds. Now, I would like to uh, like share that secret with you all. Okay, before I teach you the Vedic system of subtractions, you need to get acquainted with some secret techniques. 
The first one is called the Nikhilam. In English, we call it compliments. Take a look at this. Now, what are, what are these compliments? I told you at the very outset, the ancient Indians developed all this Vedic mathematics with base as 10. And they call it in Sanskrit, Dashamshaha. They said, be it whatever the number, be it whatever the calculation, it can be base to 10. So that was the logic. Okay. Now, what is this complement is? It's very easy. Now, let's postulate that there is a number like 6. Or assume that I give you 6 chocolates and ask you, how many more chocolates you must add to this to make it 10? And you'll answer, it's 4. Because 6 plus 4 is 10. So 6 complement is 4. Or vice versa, 4 complement is 6. I'll give you 8 apples and ask you, how many more apples you must add to this to make it 10? So it would be 2. So 8 complement is 2 because 8 plus 2 is 10. I'll give you 3 biscuits and ask you, how many more you must add it to make it 10? So it is 7. If I give you 5 books and ask you, how many more you must add to this to make it 10? So it will be 5. So understand that, whatever number, so these are basically complements only for numbers from 1 to 9, not 0 to 9. Okay, 0 is, it is not a number, like you know, it has no value at all, what I mean to say. So, no value number, so that has no complement. But for numbers from 1 to 9, they have complements. So 1's complement is 9, 2's complement is 8, 3's complement is 7, and 4's complement is 6, and so forth. So complement means a number added to a given number to make it 10. That's called complements. Okay? So with this, we are the complements. That's very easy. And complements are so natural, we can generate a complement in a jiffy. In less than a second time, we can generate a complement. And let me tell you one more rule. Like, you know, before we go any further in this complement, I mean, in the topic of subtractions. Okay, the second rule. The first rule is complement. The second rule is, now assume that you have like eight uh, dollars with you and somebody asks you to pay two dollars is it possible I'm asking you eight minus two is it possible yes very much it is possible so if the number is possible it is called as match number just get acquainted with the small terminology okay like in additions there was a small terminology like carry number and non carry number similarly here in like uh, subtractions we have to get acquainted with the first one is match number the second one you have a number like okay like you have five dollars and somebody asks you to pay nine dollars is it possible it's not possible so in this case it is called a mismatch number so in our additions the terminology was carry number and non carry number in subtractions the terminology is match number and mismatch number if the subtraction is possible match if it is not possible, it's a mismatch. Okay. Now, if you are true with the concepts of uh, complements and match and mismatch, now I'll teach you how to do the subtractions faster than calculators. Now, but first, I'm going to teach you the basic technique. Later, I'll teach you the direct method. Okay. Now, let's postulate an example something like this: seven thousand two forty-three minus two thousand eight seventy-six. How much? Usually, in our school, we start from the right, and we resort to borrow, borrowing methods. But in Vedic mathematics, we never follow any borrowing method. We have to start from the left rather from the right. Okay. Now, start from left. Subtract 7 minus 2. You get 5. So, write 5 here. Now, go to the next number. How much is 2 minus 8? Now, mind you, that's a mismatch because 2 minus 8 is not possible. If the number is a mismatch, come to the previous number. Reduce the number by 1. Make this 5 as 1 number more 4. And don't borrow any number. Now, maybe you're thinking that why should we borrow there? No, don't do that. So, after making one number less, go to the next number. Now, focus on the bottom number. The bottom number is 8. Now, tell me, what is the complement of 8? 8's complement is 2. Mind you, the 2 must come from the mind. The 2, add to top number 2, you get 4. See the beauty, even 12 minus 8 is 4. And that you acquire through addition. That's the beauty of Vedic mathematics. Now go to the next place. 4 minus 7, how much? Again, it's a mismatch. In that case, cut the previous number, make it one number less. And go to the next place. What is the bottom number? The bottom number is 7. 7's complement. It must come from the mind. It's 3. It's as natural as that. The 3 add to top number 4. You get 7. See the beauty? Even 14 minus 7 is 7. 
So go to the next place. 3 minus 6 how much? It's a mismatch. So cut 7, make it one number less. And then follow this. 6 complement is 4. That 4, add to top number 3, you get 7. See the beauty, even 13 minus like a 4 is 7. Okay? 13 minus 6 is 7. What am I to say? Even 13 minus 6, you get 7. So that's the answer. When you subtract 7 to 4, 3 minus 2, eight, seven, six, you get 4, 3, 6, 7. Okay, now let's postulate one more example. 8,521 minus 2,984, how much? The same technique. Start from the left. 8 minus 2 is 6. Next place is a mismatch. So cut 6, make it one number less. You get 5. Now go to next number. 9 complement is 1. 1 plus 5 is 6. Why the 6 out there? Next place, match or mismatch? It's a mismatch. So cut 6, make it 5 again. Go to next place. 8 complement is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. Write 4 here. And go to next place. It's a mismatch. So cut 4, make it one number less. 4 complement is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. And that's the final answer. Double 5, 3, 7. Okay, now let's see the direct method. Now previously I had shown you all the basic method. That's why we are showing you with cutting the numbers. Now we'll see the direct method. Okay, same. Start from the left. 9 minus 2, you get 7. Now don't write 7. Hold the 7 in your mind and see the express whether it's a match or mismatch. It's a mismatch, so 7 becomes 6. Write 6 here. Now the mind is empty. Now go to the next place. 9's complement is 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. Hold the 3 in your mind and check out the next place. Match or mismatch? It's a mismatch. So 3 becomes 2. Write 2 out there. Again, the mind is empty now. Now, 8's complement is 2. 2 plus 3 is 5. Hold the 5 in the mind. Next place, match or mismatch? It's a mismatch. So 5 becomes 1 number less. It becomes 4. Now, go to the next number. 6 complement is 4. 4 plus 5 is 9. And that's the final answer. You have written the answer without really cutting the numbers. Okay, now let's see. Uh, let's take two examples, okay? And then let's try to solve it. 7 minus 3, 4. Mismatch 3. 9 comma 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, mismatch 1, 4 plus 2 is 6, mismatch 5, 1 plus 4 is 5 and that's the answer. See with additions we are doing the subtractions. Now 8 minus 2 6, mismatch 5, 3 plus 5 is 8, mismatch 7, 2 plus 4 is 6, mismatch it is 5, 1 plus 2 is 3 and that's the answer. So using this technique we can subtract any length number not only 4 by 4 let's see now assume this number is connected like you know then you can even deal with big numbers. I think now by this time you might have understood how I was able to subtract that big number at the beginning what I had shown you. Okay, using the same technique I was able to subtract such a big number in 20 seconds. Now let's slightly go for higher concept. Okay, now let's see one more case where you also get match numbers then what to do. In the, all the previous cases I had shown you all with mismatch numbers. But when you get match numbers see what to do. Start from left. 8 minus 2 6 mismatch. So write 5. 6 complement 4, 4 plus 3 is 7. Next place is a match. So write 7 only. Only when you get mismatch number, you must write one number less. If you get match number, write the same number. Now, 7 minus 2, you get 5. But next place, mismatch. So make it 4. 5 complement 5, 5 plus 3 is 8. And that's the answer. Okay, let's take one more example. We get a number something like 9, 3, 6, 8, minus 2, 9, 8, 4, how much? Okay, same technique. 9 minus 2, 7, mismatch 6. 1 plus 3 is 4, mismatch it is 3. 2 plus 6, it is 8, next place is a match. So write 8 only. Had been a mismatch, you have written 7 there. But it's a match there. So you have written 8 only there, okay? So 2 plus 6, 8. 8 minus 4 is 4 and that's the final answer. Only when you get a mismatch number, write one number less. If you get a match number, write the same number like in this cases and you may get mismatch I mean the match number in the second place in the third place at the end you may get wherever it is and sometimes you may also get match number in the beginning also sometimes let me tell you the top number in subtraction you know the top number bottom and the answer what, what, what are they called the top number is known as the minuend and the the bottom number okay is known as the subtrahend and the answer is known as the difference in 95% cases 
the minor will be more and the subplant will be less but in some less than 5% cases it may be reverse it may also be reverse then what to do now take a look at this problem okay before I teach you that concept you have to first understand this now assume you have seven dollars with you and somebody has two dollars how many are left out with uh, you're you are left out with five you have five dollars and somebody comes and asks you nine dollars is it possible it's not possible in that case what we do is we reverse the problem from the big number subtract the small number or from the subtract subtract the minus n so nine minus five you get four so the answer would be minus four when you when you get the minus end like small and subtract big in that case reverse the problem and whatever answer you get just put a minus symbol before that similarly you get a problem something like this you get a problem like how much is 2984 minus 7123 how much now you see the minus end is small and subtract is more in that case reverse the problem from 7, uh, 7123 subtract 2984 okay so 2984 you subtract this now now take a look at this now just drop this okay yeah now 7 minus 2 5 mismatch 4 1 plus 1 is 2 so mismatch it is 1 2 plus 2 is 4 mismatch it is 3 6 plus 3 is 9 so you got 4 1 3 9 now what you have to do put a minus symbol before the number and that's the answer let's see a special case where the minor end and the subtract numbers match then what to do now take a look at this 8 minus 2 6 next place it's a match 2 minus 2 is it's possible right so it's a match so write 6 only so 2 minus 2 is 0 but next place there is a mismatch and you can't uh, minus 1 from 0 in that case reduce 1 from 60 so 60 becomes 59 go to the next place 9 component 1 1 plus 6 is 7 mismatch it is 6 and 2 plus 3 it is 5 so 5965 is the answer so well, sometimes when you face a number something like this then you have to follow this method now one more example something like 9892 minus 3897 how much similar problem okay 9 minus 3 6 match so 6 only 8 minus 8 0 9 minus 9 0 next place is a mismatch and you can't subtract one from the two zeros in that case subtract one from 600 it becomes 599 now 7 complement 3 3 plus 2 is 5 and that's the final answer